Hey guys, this is Deacon from Team Crimson bringing you my Gear Chronicle standard deck profile. So, to start off, we have the eight force markers. They're all pretty and beautiful because these are the good force markers. Uh, then we have the starter, obviously the only starter, Primordial Draco Kid. I love that name, by the way. Um, then we have uh, going into grade fours, we play four Mystery Flare because it is literally the best grade four ever. Um, its effect reads, one place, activate all the effects below according to the sum of the grades of the face-up cards in your bind zone. If it's three or more, you get uh, triple drive. Uh, if it's seven or more, it gets a crit. Thirteen or more, choose six of your units and they gain 10,000 until the end of turn. And nineteen or more, at the end of the turn, you discard all the cards from your hand and you get an additional turn, And but you cannot ride during that turn. So, this card is amazing. And then as backup, we have... Uh, to idealize just because he's still really good because he also goes off of the effects in the bind zone one or more you rewind something on your opponent's side of the field but they choose five or more call top card of your deck and 11 or more you call two cards from your drop zone and three of your rear guards gain 5k so we run the sixth grade fours uh, then the only grade three that we run is lost legend because he's what allows you to fake stride that's what I'm calling it. Yes, fake stride. Um, and you also, you ride him, and you ride your grade four from the deck. And at the end of the turn, when this retires, you re-ride him as rest, and you get another force marker. So he's amazing. Run four of him. And then when he's rode on, you can counterblast two and draw a card. Then for grade twos, we start off with your... This is what you want to ride into is Lost Break Dragon, because when it's placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, you bind a card from your hand to draw a card, and then during your turn, if there's a face-up card in your bind zone, it gets plus three. So he's your best grade two. Uh, then we run three Gun Beazle, because he binds himself. When he attacks, you counterblast one, and it gains five for every grade of your Vanguard, and then binds itself. So if you're on grade 4, it gains 20,000, which is amazing. Uh, then we run 3 Lippet, because when it's called from your hand, you bind a card from your drop zone, which is what you need to do. You need to bind cards. And then run 2 Naboo, just because when it attacks, you bind a card from your drop zone again. And then you soul charge it to draw a card. So it's really good. And your opponent can't use grade 1s when you do that. 1s are higher. Uh... Then we run four Wedge Move Dragon because he's your stride fodder and he's also really good if you're going second because if his attack hits, you bind something from your hand to draw a card. Uh, then we run four Quickie Quickie uh, because you want to put those grade fours back and if you do, you can Soul Blast two and draw a card. Then we run three Mamene, right? Yeah, Mamene. Uh, she, when your Vanguard is placed, draw a card, drop a card if it's a 3 or greater, plus 5 to 3 units. Uh, and then, starting with zeros, I run the 4 perfect guards and 1 extra draw trigger, because sometimes this helps. Not, not all the time it helps, but it's just something that helps every now and again. Uh, then I run... Seven crits, four steam bomber, and three ring ring just because I like steam's artwork better. That's why. And then, oh no. And then I run the four heels. Alright, that's all for my Gear Chronicle standard deck profile. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys later.